Hey Blue, what, what button is it for that uh, chase view for the carrier, you know, to get the far out view for the carrier? Alright, let me see those fire emojis in the chat. Yeah, yeah, there's probably going to be some air-to-air -air refueling today, I can bet on it, that's for sure. Yes, yes, let's get to it, man. I'm, I, I am not one to play no games today, I am in a mood. <laughs> what is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back. It's your boy blue my friends this is dcs where once again we're back here with the squad and it's about to go down man we are on the through the inferno uh persian gulf ser server and we are on the carrier as per usual carrier operations and for another attempt at some strike mission action it's gonna be pretty fun looking forward to it we got four aircraft four ship today uh, four times F-18 Hornets. We got Cadges coming in as number one, followed by me, Leo, and Dre back once again. Uh, missing Shadow, 
uh, today. Wish he could join us, but he, you know, has life to do. So it's all good. So hopefully you can catch us in the next one. But looking forward to today's flight. Been really looking forward to these flights every week, every Friday for the last few Fridays. We've had a lot of fun. We've had some struggles, but um, I think today we'll see. It could be a good day. Actually, it is a good day no matter what. Period. I decide right now it's going to be a good day. Yeah, I'm saying that. Mono Riff, welcome to the stream. Blades, welcome aboard. Alkin Gaming, welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. Mike is in the chat. Cat is in this. Yes, sir. Welcome back. Good to see you. Good to see you. We're in a beautiful blue Arrow Force F-18 Hornet today. I am in the black one, but I'm going to be probably switching to the classic gray one in a little bit. I just was feeling like a like a rogue for a little bit, but play the play the team game today. Ba 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 ba. Yeah, man. Ready for some meal sim ops. Bamarin, welcome to the stream. Hello, Michael Medley. Welcome back. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. God bless you, my friend. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a great week. I really do. I really do. Like life can be stressful, and uh, you gotta take a break from it. Let's get on comms here. Okay, Roger that. I'll do the same. Hey, that's Leo. You're hearing his voice. Roger that. Well and we'll start off on uh, two six one. Hey, firm two six one. And uh, let's see. I haven't, you know, believe it or not, I haven't flown DCS World since our last live stream. Um, it's been quite a busy seven days since then, and I uh, have not had the opportunity or chance really to do so. We did some racing earlier this week. That was a lot of fun. So a lot of uh, my weekend last weekend was getting prepared for that i'm gonna go ahead and load it with some just kind of like a, a default loadout here some nine x's um and some fuel tanks pretty sure we gonna be doing air to ground uh let's just take one fuel tank in the middle uh let's bring a lightning pod as well as another aim 120 charlie on the right and that's all we're gonna bring for now and again once we find out what our actual mission is uh we'll load up for real for real um uh, yeah. Do I want to <laughs> do I want to start it up myself, or do I want to cheat and do auto start? That's the tricky part. Juan Pierre, welcome to the stream. Welcome from the Netherlands, Bammerman. Welcome back to the stream. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well, man. Hope you're doing well. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I guess we can start it for our first flight. We can at least start playing up ourselves, right? How do I even do that? I gotta look at my notes <laughs> again. Oh man. Oh, listen to those playing starting up next. So let's go ahead and kill the music here. Or at least bring, turn it down so we can enjoy the sounds of DCS World here as we start these engines up. Let's see, is that. Let me know uh, how everything sounds uh, in the chat. DCS is a very loud game. Um, and so I have to turn it down in order to not have to yell over it. But uh, let me know though. Uh, in the chat if the levels are okay would you like to have a little bit more game in the audio would you like to have a bit more me in the audio let me know right now so i can make those adjustments before we get too busy um but i do appreci appreciate you guys feedback as per always uh, i also take a second to really quickly promote flight sim expo coming up in june uh they've been a great supporter and partner of the channel as you can see their logo on the top right i will be there at flight sim expo as well as honeycomb thrustmaster uh, TFDI designs, a lot of different, um, PMDG is going to be there, x going to be there, Microsoft is going to be there, uh, a lot of the big flight sim uh, names when it comes to development, uh, the big flight sim, P3D, I think is going to have some representation there as well, Aerosoft, so um, looking forward to meeting those guys, but also even more looking forward to meeting other members of the community like you, like Leo, like Dre, hopefully they're going to be there as well, so um, yeah, just go out there, uh, if you go to the website, flightsimexpo.com, you can use my Promo code BLU Blue to get I think 10% off your ticket. So uh, make it happen, man. Looking forward to the event. It's gonna be pretty big. It's panning out to be a pretty major event, and uh, look forward to seeing some info on the Blue Experience about that too. That's a little bit of teaser. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna start to plan up myself. How about that? Let me let me get my track IR set up. Ah yeah yeah. Uh, yes, I am Top Gun. <laughs> I am Top Gun. All right, there we go. Look to the left, look to the right. That's a beautiful hornet right there. Yes, no auto start is truly a momentous day. No matter what happens, the one thing we have done is start our engine from scratch. All right, battery on. 
and have my checklist here. <laughs> my, my cheat sheet on my phone. APU on. Oop, on, there we go. Wait for the green light. What's up, USB C? Uh, yeah, I got the message, Michael. I just haven't had a chance to look into it, man. All right, APU's on. Uh, we can start the engines, I guess. Uh, so starting... Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, wait, I got to do the engine crank. So start engine, the right engine first, I think. Yep. We'll see around here somewhere. We should see some some numbers jumping up in RPM. We only need 18%, so we have more than enough. Right shift and home. We'll put our right throttle into the light idle. And our engine starting up. Thank you, Ted, for the reminder. Uh, while we're doing that, we'll also get our screens on. So we were, we were going to do Hoggett server today. Uh -huh. um, but decided not to look at that she's coming to life look at that all right right engine good start starting one I would love for them to add more I I think DCS has great ground crew interaction on the carrier. I uh, would love to see that on ground ops too. But in addition, I would love to see just kind of more uh, crew interaction, maybe even through like engine start. Like, wouldn't it be cool to have like, uh, what's it called, a flight ch a chief or whatever you call those guys? Yeah. Be pretty sweet to have that. Oh yeah, forgot my uh, left off home. There we go. And firing up engine number one. Back to my checklist. All right, screens are on. We'll wait for the bleed air in a second. Don't get shot down. I'll, I will really will try my best. I will try my best not to get shot down. All right, so we have a good start on one and two. I'm gonna rotate our bleed. There we go. Obox. Is that the left or right? I think it's over here. Yep, there it is. Obox on. Uh, hook bypass carrier. That's set. That's good. Anti skid is off. Radars. Operation. There we go. INSCV. There you go. FCS reset. Tell this to stop. And we go to F and S F and C F C S whatever. Uh restart. Uh oh. Fire test? Do I have to? How do I do it again? No, I don't want to do a fire test. <laughs> uh F C S hold then click alright, so I think it's Y. And then, uh, I press this button. There we go. Now it's testing. Uh, take off trim. I'll tell you, all it takes is a step away from this game for one week, and you start getting rusty. It's crazy. Crazy. Ah, there's our trim right there. That's pretty cool, Cadis. So the uh, the crew interaction is coming. That's pretty sweet. All right, what else we got? INS. Uh, takeoff trim. Pedo heat. Do our radar altimeters. Our 
Come on. There we go. Something like that. Uh, what's my call sign and flight number? Uh, I don't know yet. I need to get on the radio, Matt. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, what they say? Uh, Kaz, what did they say the radio frequency was for me to be on? I had 261, I think. Error. <laughs> Great. Yeah, we haven't assigned numbers yet, but my call sign is... Actually, let, we can do for a seven mission. We can go on the Hawaii squadron. Okay, roger that. Is there... Are you going to call out the coordinates? Yep. Alright, so we're doing briefing and now. Then, uh, or uh, whatever number I am. I can be four. I'm close the canopy so we can hear a bit better. And we can go for enemy planes because we have a, a lot of them today. Say again? Be careful for enemy fighter jets, we have plenty of them today. Okay, roger that. Right, today, uh, Cadges is taking flight lead this week, uh, since he's most familiar with this particular server that we're on today, Through the Inferno. Let's go radio check. Aero uh, flight radio check. By for uh, coordinates to uh, target packages. I'm waiting for everyone just to get rid of so. Okay, roger that. Aero flight radio check. Uh, can you not hear me? It's possible. Let's check SRS here. Make sure it didn't remap my stuff. I'll set our push to talk button. Rescan, yes. Alright, let's try that again. Um, so looking at the overall mission intel, we've got an air to ground hard and an air to ground easy. <laughs> Stepped on. Okay, say again, uh, sticks, uh, you were stepped on. I said, looking at it, we got an air to ground easy, a hard, a deep strike, and a normal that we could do. Deep strike is SM site, so it's really hard. Well, I say first run, let's go easy, get our joint together, and then come back, and then, you know, scale it up there. I say start with the easy first. Going on. Go take some of those targets out. Rug Doctor found me this morning through your Blackhawk Syria video. Started DCS in the Hornet. And he would too. Really dig your vids. Uh, watch the whole thing. Thank you so much, Rug Doctor. That's cool, man. Thank you so much for coming through. Uh, hopefully, one of these days you can join us, man, if you're uh, free. I know um, uh, this is a, a tough time of day for some people, but uh, if you do happen to be free or have a day off, Definitely come through and join us, man. We'd love to have you along with us. Uh, Mike, I know this is a different server. We are uh, on the Through the Inferno server this week. Let's get a radio check again. Aeroflight, Blue 116, radio check. In this air to ground oh. easy. So <laughs> they keep talking over me. For everybody to get some. Okay, Roger. I'm in there. Where do you, uh, where do you see the number of targets? Can you guys hear them on the radio? Or can you guys hear... So if you go to... Uh, on the stream, other, yes, and you then go to Mission Intel Center, and then uh, show all active Mission Intel. It'll give you a list. Air to ground EZ2 is the first one at the top of that list. Do, 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 okay, do, yeah, do. I see that. Uh, and it gives the grid coordinates there. That's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, that looks good there. Yeah, and it'll say Intel, and then in parentheses, it'll say 18 units. No, I'm sure we're gonna get the coordinates for everybody. Okay, yeah, roger that. This got some great coordinates right here. Uh, so is that what we're gonna go ahead and put in? I'm gonna need them out, so... 
Hey, stand by real quick. Let me get a radio check. Okay, Roger. Okay, Roger that. Radio check, radio check. Can't hear nothing. No, we didn't we didn't hear anything. Yeah, negative. Alright. Yeah, I can keep going. I'm just trying to find a way oh, I'm not being heard. Two six one. Two six one. Six one. Yeah, I'm on two six one. Man, this thing disappears off the screen so damn fast. I hear you guys perfectly fine. It, it does, it does. And it might be, uh, make sure in your SRS that the uh, setting um, allow SRS hotkeys is depressed because a lot of times that's what the problem is. All right, then let me try it again. Allow SRS, where is it at? Or sometimes blue, what you got to do, even though everything is set and your settings correct on your SRS, you still have to go back to the um, setting where you map your keys to each of the radios and even though it's the right button just clear it out and remap it again and it and it might start working that happens to me all the time where i gotta literally just go back and reset my push to talk and the srs uh for one radios one through three and it'll work again hey i'll try that again all right let's see if that works all right radio check radio check Nope, nothing. Okay, let's see. Microphone. Now restart SRS? Let me try that. Da, 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 da. It is not the same mission as Top Gun, no. <laughs> uh, we don't have, I don't think there's a server of that mission. There, when Top Gun first came out, there was the server is making similar missions to the Top Gun movie. All right, I'm on. Let's try it again. All right, radio check. Hello. See what's it? Was that a yes? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, so what happened was I just restarted SRS and now it works. So you know, good old restart. Get into the new zero. <laughs> All right. First question, what are our flight numbers? I'm four. Dre is four. All right, blue is two. Blue is two, Leo's three. Copy that. K three copies, he's three. <laughs> <laughs> you ready for coordinates? Yes, ready for coordinates. Roger that. So, north, gonna be two five. Oh, uh, no. Oh, here we go. Five four and two five. Please repeat the east. Okay. okay, yeah, please please repeat the east coordinates again. Okay, east is gonna be 5 4. Zachary, good to see you, man. Okay, copy 25 feet on the elevation. 425 east, 54, 32, 11, elevation. Elevation in the All aboard! Thank you, Cat copy. Dad, for the follow. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. Right, are we done with that one? I think we're done with that one. Waypoint 2. That's fools. Uh, maybe not. Depends on where this place is uh, in relation to the tanker, I guess. No, it's eight miles from us, so we're definitely going to go to. 
Stepped on. Yeah, we're good on fuel. I'm reporting uh, 101 degrees for 80.2. Target area. What's up, crazy Russian pilot? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. My question is, are we just sticking with this one waypoint, and that's the general search area? Yes, yes. It's basically on the target area. Directly on the target area. Okay, Roger that. Yeah, I got that uh, target area. Yep, 80 miles heading 101. Uh, shoot. Yeah, yep, 80 miles 101. All right, we got one waypoint. That's you all we need. Gonna go ahead and rearm and refuel one more time. Uh, negative. I think we'll be good. It's only if I had a flight suit, Adam, <laughs> I didn't get one, man. Field, so, uh, I didn't get a flight suit. Grid coordinates are in there, and four is ready. Three is ready. One uh, two, question. Yes. Uh, can you just quickly uh, rebrief me on what we're doing? What kind of armament do I need to bring? Uh, bring in to ground and we're gonna do first mission, easy mission. Copy. All right, air to ground, easy mission. It should be easy. Second one gonna be hard though. Uh, so since it's an easy mission, I think we should bring I think we should bring we should bring some Mavericks. I love freaking Mavericks. I have G them. It's G them. I'm gonna bring two Mavericks. Copy that. Four has uh, J Dams times four, and uh, as well as uh, some GBU twelves uh, times four. Roger. So I'm gonna bring uh, two times. I are Mavericks. And then four times J Dams. Uh, if I can find them. There they are. Two times J Dams. It's a 500 pound GPS guided bomb. That's what that is. And the Maverick is a missile, basically, an air to ground missile. Alright, so loading that up. We got our fuel tank. Uh, remove pylon. We'll put that back on. Uh, is that F-14 with us? Because he's been hanging out here for quite a while. Okay, uh, one four is requesting the cat bomb. Uh, so one gonna go on cat one, two gonna go on cat two, three gonna go on cat three, and four gonna go on cat four. All right, that's easy enough. Copy that, uh, and uh, request permission to taxi to. Clear permission to go. Refueling. Copy that. Taxi. Two Mark 84s for good luck. Yeah, Cat Dad. Any Tomcat fans in the chat? All right, so we are ready. Uh, let me double check. I did do a manual start, so I want to make sure I didn't miss anything before we leave. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. What are you doing? Uh, I think we're turning. Hey, what are you doing? Be advised, ship is turning. Put your warning, uh, blue. Put your hey, warning. What are you doing? All right, so we did the INS, did the radar altimeter, bingo fuel, RBR. All right, there you go. Vince and bypass, we got the jammer on there. And remove our chocks, and we'll get out of here. Are we still turning? Oh, yeah, we are. I'm going to wait till the uh, ship starts, stops turning. I don't want to lag out and, and die. Uh, okay, so Johnny's question. Does anyone have a profile for the Turtle Beach Velocity 1 flight stick? You just got one, assuming you would find a profile to use, but cannot find one anywhere. Uh, I don't have one to share, sadly, Johnny. Oh boy, look at this angle. I don't have one, sadly, to share. I wish I could help you, man. But, um, alright, we should be good now, Yep, I was waiting for the ship to stop turning. And don't forget to put your tune on. Chief, remove the wheel yep. chocks. Copy. Wheel chocks are now removed. Alright, chocks are removed. Brakes off. Let's go. Alright, be advised. Cat 3 isn't working currently. Not getting any signals. I don't know if that's because Cat 4 is occupied or what, but. 
I think so because the schedule is quite. Yes, I am also hyped for the F-15 two-seater. I'm kind of curious. And one, this is four. Would you like me to go ahead and catapult and stay in the pattern so uh, three can hook up? Yes. I'm kind of curious that, we'll announce our launch. how the F-15 is going to go. Because a lot of... The F-14 was one of the first two-seater actual fighter jets to come to DCS. And very few people fly it, you know, multi-crew. Even though okay, it's... Okay, salute given. Uh, four is... Catapulting off the floor. Even though know, it's a great uh, plane to fly multi crew, you don't see a lot of people doing it anymore. When it first came out, everybody was like, all right, you want to be my Rio? But, you know, now usually it's just one single person plus, you know, the George. Okay, yeah, uh, so I feel like the F 15 is probably going to have a similar life where the F 15 is going to come out, everybody's going to be excited about doing multi crew, and they're going to do multi crew at first, and then eventually everybody's just going to be the pilot. <laughs> um, but it's definitely. Oh, am I still black? I meant to change my livery. Oh well. All right. Put our formation lights on. Position lights on. Things on. Flaps half. Well, arm our uh, ejection seat. We might be needing that. Lock our wings, and we'll come forward. All right, three took up on camera. Yes, I believe I do have a targeting pod. I have the lightning targeting pod. Four is downwind, uh, carrier. And when you get a chance, we need to select another frequency once we depart the carrier so that we're not talking in carrier comms. Maybe we could do like 263, make it easy. Yeah, go, go 263. Okay, uh, four is in the air, going 263. See you guys on frequency. Cat, um, uh, arrow two, ready for launch. Roger. Arrow one is launching now. Salute. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> there we go. All right. What is that one? Oh, scar seat though. I thought I saluted, did not salute. Three, salute. Cat four. Why are these guys not responding? Ah. There we go. I love how like you can hear that so clearly. Three is airborne. <laughs> Uh, Captain Ray, is this game any good? Oh, yes, absolutely, my friend. This is one of the best flying games you could ever play. Why am I not, why am I not saluting? Uh, let's do it the manual way. Oh, I know why. I gotta put the throttles for it. Duh-duh. Uh-oh, why is that not working? Okay, I think it's locked. <sighs> Two's up. All right, you're up. Flaps up. We up, baby. All right, where are they at? Oh, they switched to 263. Two's up. Okay, no joy, uh, two, uh, uh, three to one, we're also down when ages 1.2. If gamer, this is called DCS World, Digital Combat Simulator. I do see somebody. Off at our 11 o'clock. And four reporting, now turning left crosswind, left crosswind in front of the carrier. Yeah, turning the crosswind right now. Two's on crosswind to downwind. I got no joy on them yet. They said they're about 1500. 
I didn't assign a helmet mount display. Uh, does it not work then? Oh, that's great. <laughs> Too late now. No, this is not Microsoft Flight Sim, this is DCS. Are two of you guys joined up yet? Uh, I haven't. I got uh, I got two in sight left. Is, uh, four is now turning left downwind. Two, and uh, then get caught up with four or, or one rather. Nice. Right, so right now we're all circling. Hey, Roger. I'm turning left crosswind with two two. Uh, Aircraft here, I just don't know who it is. We're all circling the carrier. One and four. Looking for each other right now. Hey, Roger, three slotting in, uh, left side low. Trying to rejoin. Oh, my hump, my hump. One is on the right. Okay, yeah, four is the Angels, uh, 1.7 and 301 indicated. Four on, on your right wing. Do you guys see him? I don't see him. Oh, there they are. I, I believe two is in front of whoever's on downwind right now. I'm on left down, uh, left base. Two. Okay, I got somebody off my right wing. Let's see. Uh, so one, uh, you might want to uh, come on my left wing and take lead, and then I'll fall back for two and three to slot in. Yep, here they come. Right there. You probably can't see them on the screen, but they're right okay, there. Okay, I got you visual one. Roger. Okay, uh, be advised, uh, four is slowing down. I'll leave a gap for two to slot in, but I will stay off the right side for three to go in. One left here, three hundred. Turning left now. Four. Angels, one, seven, zero. Okay, who's on the right here? That's me. One's far left out front. I'm turning to keep a loose formation off him so two can get into position and I'll still I'll fly off the right side of uh, two. I got a one up there. Okay, cool. I should be on his uh, left there. Copy that. He's continuing his left turn right now. Two, we are on 300. He's just 300. Copy. Yeah, you just guys just uh, maintain your... Heading, uh, I got eyes on all three of you, so I'll slot in on the left here. Uh, can you land the ca Yeah, man, you can do everything. Uh, you, this is... One is leveling out. This is a full-out flight simulator, so, I mean, literally anything you can do in an F-18... Okay, almost anything you can do in F-18 in real life, you can do in this game. Uh, take off, landing, start up, start up the aircraft from... A complete turned off state. Uh, you can land on carriers, land on the land, drop bombs. And two, let people. me know when you get closer. I'll make sure there's a big gap so you can fly off its right side, then I'll fly off your right wing as well. Fly on formation, air to air refueling, everything, man. Uh, and there's also F 16s, uh, F 14, there's all kind of aircraft uh, in DCS world. So it's a lot you can do. Alright, we got good eyes on the ship down on our left. And then we have the flight group here right ahead of us. He said their speed was 300, so we're going a little fast. We're catching up. Uh, my bingo set to 3,000, which might be a bit high, but that's plenty. Uh, we're not expecting to have any fuel issues unless we go burner or get to a dogfight. Right, I got my spoolers out or my speed break out, I'm trying to slow up and match the flight group speed. What's up, Emmanuel? Welcome to the stream. Speedy check. 3 0. 3 0, copy. Alright, so they're doing 300 knots. And I'm coming in about 340 almost. I, I don't know who's who, but uh, I'm going to slide in here on the left. 
All right, two is with you. I'll slide over a little bit now, too. Two go on the, on the red window. Uh, which one is you? <laughs> I am the first one. Okay, is uh four on the left? Yeah, four. I'm off his right, right, right wing, flying loose, so you can slot in. Got it. How's it look on TV, Alkin? And if you guys want me diamond formation, then I'll go right behind one. Just depends. Can be on the two's right wing. Okay, copy that. I'll be on two's right wing. Oh, a little bit of a. This server definitely simulates wake turbulence. The other server we were on, uh, we weren't getting any wake turbulence, but this one, I, I definitely felt his wake just a second ago when I flew behind uh, his burners. All right, we end this thing. Beautiful formation here. Got our flight lead there in front of us. Four behind us. Uh, could you use just a logic a logic tech? It's actually nice to have a server that's not glitching out. Yeah. For real. It's coming right. Oh baby. Oh, that was smooth. That was a little smooth. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna. Okay, okay. Don't get cocky. As soon as you get cocky, you get humble. <laughs> Guess we're gonna be behind him. Uh, but yes, you could use a Logitech 3D for this. Any joystick um, can work, obviously, at different degrees of uh, effectiveness as far as how easy or hard something is to do. It might be a bit harder in one joystick than another, but you can do it. I started out with a Thrustmaster T16000. Uh, it was very basic. Um, a good starter so it's to Going left a little bit. keep an eye on him and now we're gonna do level one all right so i kind of threw us off there good job oh uh, yeah he's back there so we just kind of loosened up a little bit there on the turn just kind of watch our as long as we don't cross behind the flight lead we should be all right and uh four is doing a great job of kind of giving me space back there so one gonna climb to angel fifty one Okay, roger that. Roger, Glenn, right now. All right, up to Angels 31, which means 31,000. We're probably gonna need some burner to do so, so. Go. No, 21, 21. Three. Four. Two. Thank you. Two, your speed break is out. I'm pretty sure it's a funny nickname for that. <laughs> I think the biggest challenge when it comes to flight controls in DCS World is having enough buttons. The more buttons you can get, the better, because there's so many things you can map. And not everything is essential to be mapped, but it just makes life easier when you can just, you know, like right now I'm flying and I'm not looking at my joystick. I'm, I have to pay all my attention to what I'm doing in the game. If I have to take my, put my head down for any reason, it slows me down or could potentially cause, you know, an issue. And so the more things you can have mapped to your controller, the better. And I don't recommend the keyboard. I mean, yes, if you don't have any more buttons. Four reporting 9.8 on the field. Roger. I'm gonna go 10 degrees of climb. Uh, so if you don't have any more buttons, you can obviously use a keyboard. And everything is mapped on the keyboard by default. But um, if you can get it on your joystick or throttle, that's the best way to go. All aboard! In my opinion, 
Uh, keyboard's kind of like, it's kind of tough. You gotta go reach off. Three's reporting 9.90. Roger, I got one half one, 10.5. Two, 10.5. We gotta be very careful not to get too far to the left because we do have uh, him over there pretty tight. So, and it looks like we do have a crosswind as well. You see my vertical, my velocity vector there on my HUD, the little uh, airplane is off to the right side, which either means that I'm not aligned or there's wind. Adam Stewart, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Uh, new to watching flight sim. What yeah, plane are you in? And are you wearing a seatbelt for some sort? <laughs> oh, yes and yes. Lord. Uh oh, I lost him for a second. He's leveling off here at twenty-one thousand. Thank you so much, uh, Tweezy, for the follow and subscription. Welcome to the Gloria family. Uh, question. All right, I'm in the F. I'm in the F eighteen Hornet right now. We're all. We're all in F-18 Hornets. Um, and the other part, oh, seatbelt. Yes, I am wearing a seatbelt. <laughs> Connection speed is 322. Here it is, 322. All right, let's calm down here. We're getting a little excited. Now be careful, boys. They got weight turbulence turned on on this uh, server. Oh yeah, I, I feel it. I'm fighting it. And it's a bit windy too. Yeah, roger that. First I thought I was tripping. I was about to check my controls. I'm like, <laughs> oh, they got wind and turbulence up in this piece. Uh, does Evo Dynamic produce HOTASs? No, they do not. They only produce the Boy, sim. Go, go. They only produce the sim itself. And uh, they do not produce any. Three to one speed check. Three, two, three. Man, I tell you, air-to-air -air refueling in the in this weather three, two, three, Roger. is going to be challenging. Oh, wake! <laughs> yeah. yeah, three miles from our today. Yeah, you got to watch that wake turbulence, guys, seriously. <laughs> yeah, I got my wing in it. You were very uh, welcome, oh, Motor. Come on, boys, you act like you're used to a little bit of weight turbulence. <laughs> <laughs> it's very uh, surprising when you haven't had it for a while that you have it. It's like, oh, man. Fact. Yeah, I feel like I need some rudder trim, too. <laughs> yeah, Roger that. I think flying nice and loose with weight turbulence on in this one is, uh, is uh, like how you oh! have it right now. <laughs> Uh, the livery, uh, the way the liveries work in DCS is you have to have it downloaded and installed uh, in order to see it. So if you wanted to see this livery or fly it, either or, uh, you would need to have it installed into your, uh, into your game. Once you have it installed, you can see anyone else who has that same livery. So we all have the livery installed. If you want the livery, uh, that link is down in the description. Let me go ahead and really quickly uh, get my target stuff ready because we haven't done any of that. Oh boy, hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry for I'm all over the place. <laughs> nah, you're okay. I'm flying loosely, obviously. No worries. No apologies necessary, brother. Keep doing what you think, and I'll keep my eye on you. I'm trying to multitask here. I'm trying to fly with the wind, look down, and turn my my stuff on. All right, so turn our flare pod on here. For the ground mode, armed. Here we go. Yeah, I'm just looking down to turn on my systems and stuff. That's why I'm kind of fading off. Roger, two. Okay, Roger that. I'll stick back here with you two. Uh, that way, we always have pairs here. Sounds good, thanks. Yeah, autopilot's my friend. Uh, but when in formation, it can be kind of tough. Uh, to get the autopilot to really 
match the speed of other planes around you. What's that distance in bearing? Uh, DCS, uh, you usually need a, a higher end PC to really run it um, at its potential. Recently, there's been an update uh, that added what they call multi threading, and that's helped a lot of people. Um, yeah, not saying nothing at 20 miles, I'm saying something off the scope around 40 miles. Uh, I think, is that the island off our nose, 12 o'clock? Target? Yes, yes, it is. Alright, so that's what we're going for right there. Right off your wing, two. Copy. Uh, we're on the Persian Gulf map right now. It looks like Mariana's because we're over the water, but if you look to our left, there's lots of desert, so this is, uh, Persian Gulf. It's kind of cool, we're, like, flying in pairs. 8.6 on the fuel. Now, 30 miles from waypoint 1, which is also our target. 3 is reporting 8.9. So, waypoint designate. 1 half map And that is our target. So, start looking for targets. Uh, 2 permission to fence in. Yep. Alright. 2 go ahead. Copy, two fencing in on the uh, air to ground target on the island. Three to one, permission to fence in. Fence in? All of you, clear to fence in. Alright, I'm gonna Port. hit barrel alt here and ATC. Now we have autopilot is on, we have our target here on the ground. This is Operation Something Watermelon, which is a weird name, but it is what it is. Let's see if we can find anything to shoot at. Oh, I got fire. That smoke. Right, I got another target on the runway here. All aboard! Make sure we're not gonna hit anybody. Look up for a second. Thank you so much, CD Skills, for the follow. Three to one, requesting requesting to enter a uh, a orbit to uh, start searching for targets. Three, go ahead. Right, that is a tank. Four requested the same. Yeah. Go ahead. Four, go ahead. Okay, Roger that. I'll stagger my orbit. I'm gonna go down to uh, two zero zero or Angels. Roger. All right, flight. We have thirty minutes to release these pickles. Let's get to it. All right, I'm gonna roll left. Three to one, we'll be orbiting at uh, 22,700. About 20 miles off our nose. Uh, Are you guys doing a right orbit or left orbit? I went into a right uh, since the targeting pod is on the left. Copy, I'll follow you. I'll be in the right orbit, staggered down. Uh, I'm at Angel of uh, 21, even. What is going to stay down? Two is going to be uh, right orbit, Angels 23. Uh, I think somebody asked. Do y'all see that thing orbiting, contrailing at uh, zero 090? Zero? This uh, drone, don't you worry about it. Okay, Roger. Yeah, it's a f friendly drone lazing target area. And don't forget, call out the targets, what you're about to hit. Two has a uh, enemy tank locked up on the runway. One. Going in. One. Go ahead, okay. Drop the bomb.
All right, guys. Let's go. Uh, this is our first time flying on through the Inferno in a, together in a while. Uh, we've been doing Grey Flag the past few weeks, but we had really bad problems last week flying uh, with like server lag, so we went and found something else. We we're gonna do Hoggett today, but um, we decided to do this one. Alright, we got a release here, and three, two, one, pickle, bombs off, bombs away. I hope it's off. It should be off. Oh, I hope that doesn't miss. I really hope it doesn't miss. Let's go watch it. That's not ours. That's not mine. Uh, where's my bomb? Okay, I did drop it. Here it is. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Found it. All right, what do you guys think, chat? Is that a shack? I think it's good. That's got to be good. Come on, that's good. That's in there. Oh, right next to it. Are you serious, GBU 38? 34? Wait, 34? I think it's a 34. Uh, two, miss. Going in for another round. One is running in. So upset. That's not good. We have a lot of targets, and I'm pissed that we missed one. I really am. I'm really upset about that. Alright, I'm gonna make a hard left turn here. Re oh, no, wait, he's dead! Oh, wait, no, it's just fire from us missing. <laughs> it's just a crater. He didn't even move. Uh, Adam, I uh, won't be dogfighting on purpose in this stream unless we get into a situation where a enemy fighter. And four just reporting, still looking for targets, orbiting at uh, Angels 21 and uh, fuel state of 7.8. Roger. Uh, two pickle on enemy tank on runway. I think it's ours. Trying to save your fuel, I guess. Yep, it is. Um. Yeah, I mean, the thing about the server is there's plenty of enemy fighter jets in the sky, right? They're out there. The threat is real. Uh, the threat is real. Um, but I'm not, I'm not looking for a dogfight. But if we have to defend ourselves, uh, we will. All right, one's turning in to uh, search targets again. We uh, were matched by the airplane. So we're uh, 27 out currently, and we're heading to the target area. All right, come on, baby. Give me a shack. Give me a shack. It happens all the time. Oh, come on. And... Bruh! That was the same freaking spot. Alright, screw these GBUs. I'm going Mavericks. Where's my Mavericks at? Two miss. I'm so upset about that. I I'm so, I'm really am upset about that. Two GMs, is that again? Go to the again. Copy. Same Three's running spot. In. I'm so upset about that. A long run in. <laughs> we going 10 mile final? <laughs> Shoot, more like an extended 20 mile final. Oh, you landed at LA. I did, bro. <laughs> Uh, no, Adam, I don't really have, like, an official pilot call sign. I just go by blue 116. All right, so I think uh, one is going on that target, so I'm going to go and find a different one. So I'm going to stay in a bit of an orbit here so we can start searching for some new targets. Don't understand. This, uh, one enemy down, one smoke near on me. Uh, you want two to bomb on smoke? Yes. Don't be bombing that. Copy. Alright, that's the same one we were going for already. Oh wait, no, not. I said there's smoke. What? Oh, there's smoke. Yep.
how windy it is. Look how look how freaking windy it is. You see that? By the way, that is simulated in DCS. So the fact that that smoke is blowing so hard, it just shows you how windy it is. Landing on the carrier, anything in this weather is gonna be real fun. Yeah, it's kind of annoying when you know you locked it up, you know you put the right GPS coordinate in, and still somehow. Three pickle. Still somehow. One shot. Uh, what's the button I gotta press? I think it's this one. Yep, that's the button. There we go. And two rolling in and rifle. What up, AMG Smitty in the chat? Welcome back, bro. Hope you're doing well. All right, let's watch that. That's a freaking Maverick off the rail right there. Let's see. You better not miss. Oh, yeah. Two T-72 Shack. Go ahead, two. Go ahead. Uh, I do have a uh, who's on the second red smoke, um, not on the runway. I know, right? Finally, we killed something, man. <laughs> we went through like half of our weapons to do that, but we got it off that time. So we'll start looking for some more targets now. Uh, but yeah, I was saying it's annoying whenever you you know you try to shoot, uh, drop a bomb or something and you miss. Thank you, Alkin. Again, this is the easy. Three Shack One BTR. Uh, and this is the easy target range. We're just trying to get warmed up, trying to get our confidence up. Um, and if everything goes well, the server is supposed to be restarting very soon. Wait, we. Yeah. We have enemies four to five miles coming in. Be careful. Uh oh, enemy 45 miles out. Two F5s. Two F5s. Copy, uh, you want to volunteer um, as a uh, cap? Nope. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to drop mine and I'll, uh, I'll go air to air here in just a little bit. So let's go ahead and just find a couple more targets. A couple F5s inbound, enemy. Uh, might be a threat here very soon, so we want to. Two F5s, two F5s, production. Let's see if I can find anything. I'm gonna go for this guy again, because he is not dead. And I have one more Maverick that I want to put in his. Put in him right there, so. Two rolling in. How many flight hours in the 18 do I have? You know, that's a really good question. I don't know. One switch is air to air. I actually don't know. I would love to know, though. I, I really would love to know how many hours I have. All right. In range, two rifle tank. Right, let's watch our back here. So far, four not having any joy here. Reporting 7,000 on the fuel. Still at uh, Angels 21 searching for targets. Yes, I'm using track IR for the head movement. All right, Maverick number two, in for a tank. One up, I was down. Oh, good job. I thought it should shoot it down, so yeah, I think we are good. Yes, this game is, works yeah. great in VR. All targets are clear, the fight is clear. The zoom and the gun machine. Copy, copy. Uh, yeah, copy. Uh, Zooming air to air mission and no more threats on the ground. There. Stepped on. I said there are still threats down there. I'm seeing them. Keep, uh, keep searching, man. I have no joy so far. Yeah, runway is now clear of enemy targets, but there are still targets on the island, so keep your eyes open. Okay, Roger that. We'll keep searching. Yeah, we'll focus on the runway. I'll look further. 
There's targets all to the west of the runway in that big swath of area there. I've got two targets marked with red smoke and several targets around that red smoke that don't have any smoke. The red smoke is going to be your JTAC Lays uh, target, I think. Okay, roger that. So west of the runway, we'll be taking a look, so that must be at like the base of the runway there. Uh, to the west, I'm looking east right now in the easterly direction. I'm to the west of the uh, island. The targets are going to be to the west of the runway. Now the question is, which way is west? Which way is we Any open. Copy that. Thank you. Alright, let's uh, start searching for one more. We got one more JDAM, one more GPS guided bomb on our wing. So if you can find one more target to hit, then uh, we should be good. So now we're going we'll back into search mode here, looking with our targeting pod and see what is that right there? That looks like something. What's crazy, what blows me away, Three's running in. is that like, DCS scares me a little bit. Like some of the stuff you can do in these jets, I know that in real life, they can do much more, um, which is scary. <laughs> Cause I can literally shoot somebody and they won't even know I was ever there. I'm trying to see if I see anything bigger than what we just found. What is that, a bush? Yeah, that's a bush. Marshall, one, zero, one. Right, I want to go for that guy that we had. Uh, something right here, too. What is this? That's a car. It looks like a civvy. How's our bank here? Make sure we're all right on the speed. Oh, we're slow. Uh, what's the phone ringing mean? That 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 dee 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 dee. That is uh, basically picking up a radar contact. Um, I don't have it up on the screen right now, but this little screen here, all these little letters are basically uh, different um, radars that are pinging us that we can see. So basically like, yeah. Bad example, because I don't know what an S means, but that is something. <laughs> Probably some type of radar that's searching and my aircraft sees it and whenever a new one pops up, it makes a beep sound. Three to arrow flight, times two pickle, times two pickle. Wait for him to pickle. Pickle means he dropped a, uh, a GPS guided bomb. See a lot of smoke down there, so he's, there's definitely people getting shot. One pickle. I, I got. I mean, this is a target, and a target matters. So we have to be very precise on him because our GPUs have been missing today. But yeah, I would love to know how many flight hours I have in F-18. Uh, it's probably a ridiculous amount. This is a plane I fly the most. I, I have a, probably a few... I probably have tens of hours in the F-16. Tens of hours in the F-14. Um, probably go, go, getting close to 100 hours in the Apache. But I'm not sure exactly how many, but... Oh! Looks like somebody just shot what we were going to shoot at. Thankfully, I didn't shoot at it. <laughs> All right, slow down. We'll lock our speed. Three lock flight our times two shack. Uh, we destroyed one AAA. So that AAA is down that we're shooting at you guys. Times two shack. Copy. Anybody uh, shooting on uh, any either of those red smokes? <laughs> Yeah, I just destroyed one of the red smokes. It was a AAA. He's down. Um, you can check your targeting pod really good, but one of the red smokes has uh, just been destroyed. Got it. What's up, Mo Dollars or Mad Dollars? Look at the stream. All right, good. He's destroyed a AAA. That's super helpful. I got three to four. You got me. Yeah, roger that. Hey, got some good news. Hey, Spawner Selman says he just bought the A10C2. So I'm thinking a uh, proficiency flight. There's only one uh, A10 pilot I know that hasn't forgotten anything in that bird. <laughs> roger that. I'm down for that. Got you, boy. 
So, uh, is it a date? A10 next week? Yes, sir. We can train up whenever y'all want. I got y'all 100%. I am, uh, oh, definitely up. good on that plane. Okay, so a blue. So the red smoke that is inland towards the uh, runway is destroyed. There's another red smoke towards the western coast. You got a uh, tally on that? Yeah, I got a visual on it. What about it? Oh no, you was asking about the red smoke. Smoke towards the coast is going to be a laser target. I'll copy. Two copies. Uh, I'm actually going for, looks like a enemy uh, APC or some type of light armor right next to the buildings, uh, not far from that, uh, that coastal red smoke. Yeah, Roger. Three's reporting 6.3 on fuel. Six even on fuel for four. All right, let's get this guy. One is five. five nine, two. All right, we're going to aim just at his wheels here. Lock. That's a good lock. Uh, we have our GPUs locked. We are in. We were about... Uh, let's roll in here. Two rolling in. We're at 10,000 feet. 200, 300 knots. Captain Kibitrails, what's up, man? Good morning to you, bro. Are you flying today, or are you off? Uh, I don't think we have it locked. It's still not giving me a launch, and we're almost right above it. Oh, you yeah, know why? No joy, no joy on that last shack, or that last uh, pickle. What do you mean, no joy? Uh, falling it's trying short. to drop its CCIP. I don't want to do that. No, it just, I thought I had a target, and obviously I didn't. Up in there, uh, so it either fell short right, or it was just enjoying the target. I'm gonna we'll get to Okay, you're all you are at the same island we are, right? Taking an yeah, A330 from Heathrow here. to Boston. Nice man. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to flying to JFK. I just came I think out I found today. another target here sitting on the ground, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my uh, yeah, I got something here, so I'm gonna go ahead and attack this one here. I have not bought it yet, uh, but eventually I will. I'm not ready to fly there yet, but whenever I'm Roger. ready to fly there, I'll definitely be picking it up. Alright, what station is our last bomb on? That's the question. Oh, wait, we have two. Oh, snap! We have two bombs. Okay, then. Well, that changes things. <laughs> that changes things. We got two boom booms left on here. Three pickle. Close it. Four pickle. Why are we in CCIP Close. mode? You know, uh, I you know what you're right. I do need to check out the headwind A330. Um, I I need to actually download it for myself. And check it out from because from what I've seen on other people's live streams and the pictures online, I'm just not impressed. <laughs> just my honest opinion. I just this doesn't look good to me. I'm like, eh, um, I don't know. So, Something's just not huh? right about it. Um, and I mean, I like the 330 and 330 Neo and X Plane. Uh, I love them. Matter of fact, I, that's what I want to fly. Is that? Uh, but what I need to try is the headwind. I do need to try it. All right, let's see if we can get another, another lock on this guy and see. Why are we in CCIP? Let's try to roll in it again. Yeah, Dylan, post a picture, man. And maybe maybe you'll change my mind. But so far, I've been quite unimpressed by any screenshots I've seen. All right, I guess CCIP is right. We're in the zone. I am dropping and two pickle. There it is. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> That's so cool. It's so quiet, bro. It's silent. Yeah. Kane's JML to auto. That's why I haven't shacked any targets. I thought oh, I was missed. I was in the cage on the cage, so I was wondering why my mark points weren't lined up. Thank you, Derek, target, for the follow. I got to figure it out now, boys. I hope I don't miss because I was in the wrong thing. My release type is manual. Three shack. display, release type. Manual. That's what I usually use manual. It's just, hey, it's still falling. Alright, let's see if we get any booms out of this. 
I'm gonna roll back in so when you try to keep the camera. I'm gonna watch it blow up on camera. Yeah. My favorite view is watch it blow up on camera. Because the JDAM is like a glide bomb, basically, it takes a while to get down there. So. Alright, here we go. Let's take this little orbit right here. About 15,000. There it is. That's a shack. Two shack. Oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> you see why I like watching it go boom? Alright, we got one more left. Whatever we did, it worked. That's it. Mission is done. Mission complete! Oh, nice. Good job, guys. We completed the mission. Air to ground easy has been completed. Good job, Strike Team. Roger that, and I'm pickling on something. I'm about to blow it up. Finally, I'm pushing the right button. <laughs> There's one more about to get destroyed, whether it was alive or dead. Roger, you guys want to head back to the boat and read? Yep. Everybody, thank you for me, we can fight together back. Uh, mission restart in two minutes. I uh, don't think we're going to make it back to the boat in that time. Okay, their restarts are usually fairly quick, so I guess we can just uh, do a quick intermission and hop back in once it's back up. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah, Roger that. I'm done. All right, guys. Well, that calls for a victory flyby. And say again, Dre, you were stepped on. Go full burn. I was saying once we get back up the carrier, we'll go to two six one on the frequency to start with. Since that's the carrier frequency. Whee! Yeah, Roger, Roger. Woo -hoo -hoo! Man, I'm assuming we're going to continue to do uh, ground ground mission. Yes. Okay, Roger that. Yeah, I'm with that. What is it? Flat by it. Go flat by it. Come on, that one. Whee! Epic. Yes, it is. Hey, right, let's do it one time with the sound up. All right, we got we got to do it one time with the sound up sound up before the server restarts. I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna turn up DCS. Not fully, but like 50%. 50%, that's 50%. All right, let's go. We're not even going that fast. Let's get Mach 1. Here we go. Five minutes to reset. There it is. One more time. <laughs> I said last time, but one last time, server reset, I get back in here, it's on the boat. Get our speed.
<laughs> that was dope. I bet you that was Cadiz. I know it was. All right, guys, that's it. That's it. And that, my friends, was 50% of DCS world, uh, the sound. I uh, just had it turned down. It gets much louder than that. Uh, am I going to fly to C-130? Am I going to do a C-130 at all when it releases? I'm definitely going to, Cat Dad. Like, that is one... All right, I'm going to land here and then uh, land at this air base and then uh, go to intermission. Okay, you're going to land at this enemy base? Yeah, roger. Okay, or I'll do the same. Which way you land in uh, the uh, south? Yeah, the same here. the west. Uh, Cat just got me locked up. We're landing to the south. And buddy's fight. You ain't gonna have time to land. Sequence of the gun if we're starting in 60 seconds. Challenge accepted. Landing. You'll see. You're down. 60 seconds to land. <laughs> Sixty seconds of land. Uh, gear is supposed to be down. Not sure if it is or not. Three's on short final. Who's all over the numbers? Oh, it's a tank! Watch out for the tank. <laughs> oh, this is not good. This is not good. Or it had too much speed. Too much speed. Way too much speed. Putting it in the dirt. Who's putting it in the dirt? Forest flying right over. Oh. Oh. <laughs> There's no way he's stopping that thing before he gets to the tank. That fence is strong as heck. Great landing. Great landing. Alright. Roger, roger. I'm gonna hop off the server before it restarts. Uh, cause if you stay on it, a lot of times your whole DCS will crash. It's still my crash. But, uh, how are you guys doing? How, uh, you guys enjoy the flight so far? Um, uh, I feel accomplished. We actually finished the first, uh, strike mission. That's pretty good. It was pretty easy, but um, I'll take it. We'll see what mission we have up next. We'll just wait for the server to pop up again. Uh, but again, it, we're on the Through the Inferno Persian Gulf server today. And so far, I mean, it's only it's not been a lot of people on there, but it's been pretty smooth. Um, our issue with the past servers where they were um, kind of laggy and stuff like that. We try to fly together All right, and try boy, to get much of a break. and stuff like that. So, copies, let me know when you guys get back. I'd say about three to five minutes. Copy that. So those guys will be taking a break. I hey. run and hit the head right quick, and then uh, server's already restarting, so. And then uh, we'll go flying again. Gotta wait for the server to restart. Yeah, I mean, those chain link fences are strong. Stronger than black holes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where can you download mods for this game? Um, one of the places you can do it is the DCS. Uh, it's called User Files. I haven't files. seen it come back up yet, any of you? No, I don't see Standing it. Standing by looking for it now. You might need to go to the back to the main menu. Yeah, so far I see Syria, Caucus. Yeah, Persian Gulf hasn't repopulated back. That's what I did. I did went back to the main menu, so probably give it a few more seconds. Uh, but you get a lot of, uh, I wouldn't really call them mods, but if you go to DCS World's website, which is digitalcombatsimulator.com, and then go over to Downloads, and then User Files, and there you can download a lot of uh, special liveries for different aircraft and helicopters that you like. Uh, you can download a lot of really cool missions that the community's made. So it's basically, basically like Yeah, it's still not up. I'm going to go hit the head really quick and come back and then check on it again. It's basically like a community 
area where you can download and, and, and even share. Like I've shared my liveries here, uh, but as far as actual mods, they're all kind of hosted wherever it is the developer puts it, mostly on GitHub, but there's not like one place from what I understand to go. You just kind of have to know, like, like for example, if you want to see 130 mod, it's best to just search for the C130 mod, like DCS World C130 uh, mod. And I think there's two of them. So you just go and you find it and you would download that and put it into your DCS uh, install. Same thing with the Blackhawk. Uh, there's also a F22 mod that you can get. Um, I have been, people have been telling me about that one for a while. I still have yet to try it. Um, the thing is with multiplayer, when you when you try a lot of these servers we're looking at right now, a lot of these servers have very limited mod support like the only support maybe specific mods uh so like if you want like an f22 for example you're gonna have to find a server that already supports the f22 mod or create your own server or do your you know just or just do your own private little server with somebody else whatever like a local server or something but um but yeah that's to answer your question you just gotta google it <laughs> because i don't have like one place to go get mods man but i usually don't hear about them until later and i'll go find the link You have to have the F15C. Yeah, true, true. Some mods, that's one thing too. Some of the mods for DCS are like modified versions of planes that are already available. Um, and like, for example, the F22, like you said, you have to have the F15C mod or F F15C installed in your DCS, like the pay one, paid one, in order to get the F22 to work, I believe is how, how it goes. All right, let's see if it pops up now. I have it in my favorite, so it should just pop up on the top. Let's see. Uh, I see Mariana's uh, Syria. But Persian Gulf has not come up yet. So we'll wait a little bit longer. Uh, but yeah, right now I don't have a lot of mods, to be honest. I just have the Blackhawk mod, the C130 mod, and that's really it. If I go to my homepage, uh, you can see. So we have Nevada. So next week, I don't see it yet. Uh, next week, we're talking about flying the A-10. I'll change my wallpaper. <laughs> uh, the A-10 2C. I have the Apache. I don't have the Harrier. I don't have any of these planes. I do have combined arms. I love that. Uh, I have the China Asset Pack. The uh, F-14 Bravo. F-16 Charlie. F-5. Uh, what else? F-18, obviously, because we're flying out today. The Flame Eclipse 3 which is the one I recommend to anybody who just joins DCS, who is like brand new and kind of trying to understand it. Uh, Flaming Cliffs is a good pack to use. I think it comes with missions and stuff too. Got the C-130 Hercules mod in here. Uh, KA-50, which I don't really fly anymore. Ever since the Apache came out, I don't have a use to fly the KA-50. I never was a fan of that plane. I really only bought it because I wanted... Ooh. I like it. I like the way that sounds. Um... So I don't really fly the K for D. It's just I was never really interested in it. I bought it because I wanted an attack helicopter, and that was the only option at the time. Yeah, that's true. DCS does also offer free trials now. I love that they started doing that. Free trials if you want to try out a certain aircraft or or map um, for like was it two weeks or something like that. And if you want to buy it afterwards, you can do so, or you can just be like, eh, it's not for me. Uh, once you use the Raphael, the Raphael mod, it was a Mirage disguised as a Raph. Gotcha. All right, so uh, let's go find, I think, yeah, he's already in here. Let's go spawn right next to him. Ooh, early morning. Good morning or nighttime? Welcome, Top Gun and graduate. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, please use carry operations frequency 261, blah, blah, blah. Yep, I'm in. Uh, let's take a look at the picture. So it is a dynamic server, so 
Uh, I was gonna go back to what you guys were on, but we could do black if we want. <laughs> moist strawberry. <laughs> All right, I think we should do Operation uh, Moist Strawberry. <laughs> it's basically just to the east of where we just were. Um, it's another air to ground easy. <laughs> Yeah, it depends on how how difficult you want to make it for yourself. <laughs> uh, we could also do. I'll say we could also do uh, uh, anti ship. Yeah, I don't recommend that. I've literally never killed a ship before. They always shoot my stuff down, so I wouldn't even bother. We, we, I think Cadges was there. We literally did a mission like a year ago where it was at least six or eight of us all dropped anti ship missiles and the ship shot every single one of them down. <laughs> yeah, those two. Yeah, so basically the options are Cadges is saying we could hunt convoys um, or we can do uh, Operation Moist Strawberry, which is right east of the island we were just attacking, um, or we could do a deep strike. Um, the one I, I don't know if there's multiples of them. The one that I see is uh, quite. I'm on the F10 map, like in the map view. Um, if you go uh, north of the carrier, uh, there is a little island called uh, Abu Musa. There's also a drone flying over it next to Texaco 1-1. That's where the uh, strawberry mission is. That's like an easy strike like we just did. Um, and then, yeah, so I guess they've generated a new one there. Uh, there's another one, Air to Ground Normal Mission 2, called Operation Dusty Fuel. If you look at the drone, uh, north of that right face the land side, um, there's another one there. Uh, and then north of that, I believe, are two deep strike missions uh, also being... Uh... Yeah. Now, you're talking about... Uh... You're talking about air to ground, hard mission five, Operation Colossal Fog. Yeah, it, it looks like all the drones are named Pontiac 101 now that I look at them. So there's actually, there's, there's, yeah, there's two, so there's the one you're looking at by Bandar, which is the, uh, basically the, the hard, um, air to ground mission. And then there's a, a farther one, 
which is considered deep strike. I don't know what, they, what the difference is between these two types of missions, deep strike and air to ground hard, but... <laughs> I would personally prefer that one over the hard one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the one north of that. Yeah, it should be under uh, ground mission data and then uh, search normal mission data. Yep, and then mission status for AGN. And so. So, yeah, there's 12 logistic vehicles. Yeah, whim. Yeah, we should do it. We just gotta, we gotta, we gotta bring full racks. <laughs> gotta bring full racks. All right. Well, guys, let's go ahead and load up. Um, get some aim nines for defense. Uh, bring a fuel tank. Bring a lightning pod. And uh, what should we bring for armory? So. There's going to be a couple Sams there. I think we'll bring Jace out this time. Yeah, I'm bringing two times Jace out. Nice side. Are we all going to get our own cords this time? I mean, if you guys already got them, I mean, I'm, I'm good. I don't, I don't need them. Yeah, I'm bringing j cells, like all j cells, because I like my j cells. I trust in my j cells. Like, they they usually hit and they're probably gonna i don't know we'll see if they if they be true to that today but i, I rarely miss with this all right i'm gonna go blue arrow force 70 boom 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 good all right i'm actually gonna do auto start this time <laughs> make sure you don't forget anything mike it is in the chat was up drop them puppies in pp mode oh uh, well i would but i don't exactly know where the target is um, if you're going to use pre-planned mode, you got to know exactly where the target is. And I don't know exactly where the target is. Um, 
So this is our target area. So what I'm going to do is the reason why I kind of told those guys that, hey, I don't really need the grid coordinates is because I have a new, it's not new, but I have an application that's new to me that uh, someone recommended me not long ago. It's called The Way. And what it does is it automatically adds in GPS coordinates. So you can create as many cords as you want. Um, and yeah. Where did I put it? I think it's in my documents. Yeah, there it is. So um, you're not gonna really see it on the, sh on the stream, but basically, uh, I'm gonna first start my plane up and then I'll get the coordinates. But basically, all I'm gonna do is just put my my mouse or my map here on a. Oh, this is gonna be in a city too. Ooh. Uh, be advised that targets are going to be encamped in a city, so um, just keep that in mind. So that's gonna be a bit tough. I'm wondering if that changes what we're gonna do here. I mean, I use, the way the way I'm, I'm usually accurate with my JSALs is by using the targeting pod as support. I don't just drop JSALs blindly, um, so yeah. But yeah, basically, I'm gonna create a waypoint right here bait with this uh, program, and that's it. It's super easy. So. Super easy. I was kind of hoping it was gonna be nighttime because like, I kind of wanted to do a nighttime mission. <laughs> yep, TOO is what I use, man. TOO is what I use. Uh, present position is great. Again, if you have GPS coordinates of exactly where it is, um, you can use pre present uh, pre-plan mode and it works perfect. But if you don't know exactly where it is, you're searching for targets, I recommend to use TOO. That's what I do at least. And we'll see. I might be wrong. We're going to find out today. I'm bringing a full rack of JSALs, big bags. Look at them. So um, hopefully, we hit, hopefully we get eight kills. That's what I'm coming home with. Eight bags, eight kills. Uh, Mikey, by the way, man, how did the race go last night? Sadly, I wasn't able to make it uh, with you guys in XP on Assetto Corsa last night. I had a um, unexpected meeting. And I watched the beginning of it, but I had to go pretty much the exact same time that you guys were racing, sadly, but. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be heavy, man. We're gonna be real heavy. Yeah, see how long is that flight? That is how far is it? Cause that might that might be an issue. <laughs> uh, there is a tanker in between us, so we can hit the tanker if needed. And we probably will, if not on the way there, probably on the way back. That is 99 miles, so that's not that bad, and basically 100 miles even. <laughs> you hate Paul Ricard. <laughs> uh, can I explain what the JSAL does? Yeah. Um, it's a bomb. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's a GPS-guided bomb. Just like, it's, it's literally the exact same thing as a JDAM. Except it's considered to be a missile. I don't know why, to be honest. I think because I think it has some, something um, that slightly propels it. It's basically a glide bomb. When you drop it, the wings open up and gives it extra distance as far as the range it can travel. And it glides out very silently uh, until it gets there. And there's two different types of JSALs. There's a JSAL we're using today, which is the regular one that hits the ground and blows up. And there's another one, the CBU type, which is the... Um, the uh, what do you call that that's that's the bomb that like blows up in the air and a bunch of little grenades come out of it and like you see this big area go boom like um so that's uh what do you call that that's always a name for that uh, what do you call the cbu type what is that what is that called there's a there's a term cluster it's a cluster bomb yeah cbu is cluster bomb yes so the cbu there's a cbu the regular cbu and there's uh the cbu i think it's a uh, one Thing. Let's just look at it. So what we have is, yeah, it's on the air ground missile. And AGM-154C is the one we're using. 
And there's a CBU type, the alpha version. Uh, let's go ahead and get on. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Well, it takes me. Let's get on frequency with these guys. Uh, I think it's 261. I wonder if it's already programmed in here. Let me see. Yep, it is. It's on uh, channel 2. Sweet. Refueling complete. 2 radio check. Anybody's on yet. All right, so now that we have our avionics and stuff kind of powered on, I'm going to jump over to data and we'll be using precise coordinates. So we'll click on that and then I'll use my um, All aboard! my the way app and go into the map here. Thank you so much. Who is that? Uh, John4149 for the follow. Welcome to the Blue Arrow Roy family. Hope you're doing well. So there's a drone hovering the area. That's one thing that's cool about the, through the Inferno server. They usually have drones around active target areas and that drone is actually being used as a JTAC. So it's lazing targets in the area and the enemy will not shoot at the drones, I don't think. Uh, all right, so I have my the way app open. I hit start selecting on map and I'm gonna put my I don't think you guys can see this here. Yeah, there's like a little pink dot on my screen. And all I got to do is center where I want the GPS coordinate to be, which is going to be right here. And I'm going to hit select point. It's going to create waypoint one. And then I can make more if I want. I think I'm only going to make that one waypoint. I'll make a second waypoint over at the airport in case any targets pop up at the airport. I'll put a second waypoint here. The waypoint two will be the airport. So select that. All right, so I have now, I now have two waypoints. Again, sadly, you guys can't see that. Um, on the stream and for the heck of it just in case I'm like a third waypoint over here at this other secondary target area I don't suspect us going there but I was gonna put one there all right so that's three points created and now I'm gonna go back to my aircraft and I'm, I'm just gonna click a button on the application not in not in DCS but on the application and you're gonna see it's gonna generate three waypoints There it is. It's doing its thing. Yeah, I got you, Mike. I'll drop you the link, man. It's so, it helps so much, man. I, I like putting him in manually, but sometimes when you just want to get in the air and, and go and do stuff, like it's just easier to have a way to import. So there it is. It's done. So it's, it created weight, three waypoints. So these are the three waypoints, including the elevation and all that stuff. So our first waypoint, uh, which I... Wait, is that... Did it start at 1 or did it start at 0? Let's see. Let's go to HSI. Oops, no. Waypoint 1. Yeah, okay, it's at 1. So 102 miles for 038. Let's confirm that. So 102 miles. Yep, that's exactly right. So that's our first waypoint. Yeah, I'll drop it, uh, the link to you, man. Um, but it's, it's pretty helpful. So I'm done. All three waypoints put in. And I was waiting for those guys to hop on the uh, frequency so we can talk with them. Oh wait, is it that it's not right? Is it two six? Uh what was the frequency we were gonna get on? Oh okay, I was on the wrong one. Alright, two it's just two six one. Two six one triple O. Alright, now we're on it. All right, we are ready. We're fueled up. Get our data link on. And what I found out, I can't remember who taught me this. I think it was Dre. You click on data link a second time, it goes to like a second page, and you hit on again. So there's apparently two data link pages. So you got to click on it twice. Three is ready. Two is ready. Four is ready. Get some light in here. Get our flare warmed up in standby. That's in nav. That's good. And we'll do bingo 3000. Uh, we're gonna probably have to hit the tanker because we're not gonna have the fuel to get back if we're gonna be uh, out there this heavy. Uh, so three is reporting uh, position is uh, at the back. Uh, port side of the uh, carrier, so we'll take, uh, we'll try to take Cat 3 again. Okay, 4 is reporting front of boat, right uh, next to Cat 1, so uh, I'll take 
Two is uh, at the front of the boat next to four. I'll take cat two. Okay, and I think this time, if everything works, we can we can uh, we do more of a synchronized catapult, so we're not burning fuel in the air. Sounds good to me. Two's rolling. Four taxi. Could you go ahead? Roger. All right, so he has looks like. Uh, Four GBU 38s, uh, and I don't know what the other one is called. Is it 34? It's a pretty heavy bomb. Three taxi. So we're all we're all gonna be pretty heavy. So we're definitely gonna hit the tanker at some point tonight, or this morning, whatever it is right now. Uh, is the ship moving? All right, he's giving me the signal. Uh, it's all, it's a, it's four of us. There's four of us flying together today. I usually try to line up this little, uh, icon with the, the thing. We don't have to, but that's what I try to do. Uh, good question. Is the sun setting or going up? Let's check. Let's check. Okay. No, we're good, Mikey. It's it's morning, so we don't need the MVGs. All right, wings open. Uh, good suggestion, though. I feel like DCS is too low. If we're on the inside view, I would like it to be a bit louder. All right, let's drop our nose launch bar here. I get a rudder trim. Okay, four is on cat in position, ready. Uh, have not done the spool up or the salute yet, waiting for instructions. Three is also reporting ready on cat three, ready uh, to salute. Two is on cat two, ready for nine, salute. Nine, eight, you guys take off and I gotta take off after you guys. Stand by, guys. Carrier's turning. Do not take off. Carrier's turning. You can take off at this turn. Okay, so what's the call? Take off or don't take off? <laughs> take off. Okay, roger that. Uh, four spooling up. Flight sweep, and we'll be getting salute. Oh, I forgot. I wasn't. I, I, <laughs> take it back. I thought we were ready. Three spooling up. I forgot we hadn't hooked up yet. Flight sweep. I forgot we hadn't hooked up yet. Two salute done. We're out of here. Oh my god, it's so fast. Three salute. Four Let's airborne entering the pattern. Two salute launching. Three is airborne, forming on four. Oh, we're heavy. Oh, we're heavy. Oh, yeah, she's heavy. Two is up and three in trail behind the other two up here. Okay, four turning downwind. Uh, speed will be 310, Angels 1.6. Flaps up, gears up, we're good. Slow up, slow up, slow up, slow up. Alright, two forming up on three's right wing here. You go ahead and continue. Okay, pulling speed back to 300, and we are downwind of the carrier. Oh, I love the sunrise, it's so sick. Uh, speed check. <laughs> Sounds like my gear is out or something. Switch comes to six three, two six three. 
Roger that, over 263. And it's like in my blind spot. <laughs> See, if I was an F-16, this would be a problem. <laughs> oh my god, look at that shot! Oh, that's gorgeous. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Well, I can't hear me because I'm on the wrong frequency. So. Look at that view. Wow. I think DCS has the best sunsets in the flight sim. Or sunrises in the flight sim. Alright, let's switch over to. Two, six, three. Oh my god, look at look at look at the nose. That's wake turbulence. <laughs> What's crazy is so hard for me to take screenshots when I'm flying. Who's that front? What is it? That front. Okay, route to that. Following one now. Left. <laughs> Radio check, 263. 5x5. Five five. Is that you correcting up there, one? Yes. Putting uh, off of you two, moving flat line on uh, one. Still gonna be 320. Well, I see what y'all saying about that wake turbulence, man. I flew through a little bit of, uh, of that, and it was, uh, wasn't fun. Told you, man. I know you were saying do it before, but, man, that wake turbulence shipped your whole aircraft into a drone. All right, watch this. Watch this wake turbulence. Watch this. Agreed. You see that? <laughs> I did not do that. That was the wake turbulence completely put me in the left barrel roll. That's crazy. Let me know if I need to slide over some, too. You're good. Alright, we're all together. Okay, one uh, wing is on you. All aboard! Three slotted in. Climb in to Angels 3 1. Angels 3 1. 2 1. 2 1. I kind of wish I was on the left side right now. Hey, uh, Arrow 3, you want to switch sides? Uh, you comfortable with the left? Yeah, we can switch. All right, let's do it. I'll go, uh, I'll go over, you go under. Roger, going under. Three sliding right. Ooh, wake turbulence. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the shot I wanted right there. Oh yeah, this is the view I wanted right here. Look at, okay, now that's a screenshot. Hold on, let's get in there. Let's get nice and close. And switch to a uh, barrel. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Uh, okay. Ba, 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 ba. Oh my god, that's a screenshot if I haven't seen one. Got it, I think I got it. Turn my HMD off. What's crazy is that this is somebody's job, like in real life. Like somebody's doing this right now. Man, it feels good to be able to fly on the wing, no freaking uh, desync, no leg spikes, no nothing. 
You ain't never lie. Just be careful. Three up, slot, uh, slotted on your right. Rod. It is nice though, and for the carrier to work. I'm actually looking forward to air to air refueling. If only the tankers are in position where we need them. We did a much better job on fuel management though, leaving the carrier how we left, that was much better. Definitely. Okay, I got the target area about 79 miles out, so we're not doing too bad. I concur. Okay, stay still there in three. I'm going to get a flyby here in a second. I am still. <laughs> well, all right then. Sorry, I guess I'm just concentrating like a lot right now. So. Stay in formation here. You kind of have to imagine the wake turbulence like a cone coming out of the exhaust. Well, I'm taking right now. I'm going to have a And if your wing gets in that cone, may cause you to tip over. Bro, out here looking like the Blue Angels right now. Let's get in there. That's what I'm talking about. Passing 18,000 now. Oh, that is gorgeous. Looking pretty good though. Pretty solid. We're also in a climb. And everything else. Just did a flyby, boys. We look good. Copy, 320. Right, let's get a little tighter here. We're speeding up to 320 knots. Uh, by the way, guys, don't forget that uh, two of the other members in this flight group are also streaming right now. So if you want to check out their point of view, uh, type in exclamation mark L-E-O, Leo, in the chat. And also type in exclamation mark Dre, D-R-E, in the chat. Uh, both those guys are on comms with us, flying along with us in this flight of four. And uh, 3 to 1 speed check. 300 to win. And they are also streaming their perspectives live right now. He said 3 what? On YouTube. 3 2 0. The 2 go. And 10.5 on the fuel. Uh, what is the best British Ten, four, route three. to buy in Trainstone World 3 apart from West Cornwall and Great Western? Uh, British route. Uh, West London Commuter is a great route. 
Um, very popular. I like it, and I'm not even British. Uh, as well as Southeastern High Speed, another great British route. Uh, and Midland Mainline uh, is coming out soon. I believe Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, so, yeah, definitely check those out if you're into British trains for Train Sim World 3. All right, hostile aircraft detected, threat level low, so we should be okay. I do have my air to air radar on right now, kind of watching out for things up ahead. Forrest Coppin, 50 miles to target. Okay. All right, so we can lock this autopilot here at this altitude at least, so we don't have to fight it too much. There we go, that's much better. You too, Seven Tricks. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, if I can, I will try to fit in a train sim stream next week, but I can't promise. I already have a couple streams. We're going to try to do this again next week in the 810 on Friday. Uh, Tuesday, I was planning on doing another race uh, on a set of Corsa in South Africa. And then sometime in between that, oh, actually, we might do a stream Monday. Quiet before the storm. But I'm not sure. We'll see if that's still going to happen. I also have the tanker 70 miles from here, so... What's the attack at for the tanker? 8-1 Yankee. That's going to be the other direction, though, right? Yeah, roger that. I think the boat is still closer than the... Uh at this point, than the tanker. So we get a flyby real quick. Yeah, Roger. Uh. Yeah, tanker's on the heading of the bomb one. Four zero. So yeah, other direction, basically. Bro, autopilot doing his thing right now. Am I tempted to just bank hard right? I'm not tempted to do it, but I am worried that autopilot is going to steer me into his wake turbulence and send me in a flip and crash everybody. That is what I'm concerned about for sure. <laughs> I hope it saved those screenshots because uh, that is gold. Let's see. It doesn't say if I took the shot or not. I'm going to go look. I'm going to go see if I can look at my folder. I really hope it did, because I really want those screenshots uh, for our next thumbnail. Oh yeah, by the way, we do have a livery for the A-10. Nice. Same thing, user downloads, look for the blue arrow. Yes, sir. Roger that, man, I'm excited. When, when are you guys available to train? No idea. <laughs> well, just, uh, yeah, hit me up in Discord or call me or text me and we'll get a little training session in there, man. It's uh, too easy because on that one, the uh, tactical awareness display is really awesome for our situational awareness and for sharing targets. Okay, yep, screenshot saved. Okay, are we going comrade spread and fencing in? Yes. Ha 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 ha! That was so dope! Okay, copy that. <laughs> Bro, we look so dope right now, that's all I'm gonna say. Alright, be advised too, I am getting some hostile contact uh, about 20 miles out. Yep. Yep, I got him as well. My flaps are not out, no.
Uh, that is not. F is that friendly? That's yeah, twenty-two thousand. We have six enemy fighters. Just be careful. Six. Oh, great. Two. Three. Wait, I thought I was two. <laughs> in, in front of us is F-18. Don't shoot it down. In front of us is F-18. Copy. I'm gonna de I'm gonna not engage. I had it locked up. Correction is gonna actually down, but it's still friendly. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go into a right orbit here. I'm 13 now. Uh, Angel's 21.4. Okay, be advised, we're gonna probably have to drop below this cloud cover cover to see anything. Yeah, I concur. I was just looking at that. Oh, this go looks down to so about good. Angel's, uh, Alright, one, if you don't mind, if you can keep an eye on the uh, aerial picture uh, while we go ahead it's down. Matter of fact, correction, I got a uh, bogey dope out 60 miles from our position north. Okay, Roger that. Uh, two reporting bogey dope uh, 60 miles out of our position. Oh, shoot. Yeah, confirm two, four, five targets north of us. We have eight fighter in the air, be careful. Oh boy, this might be air to air Okay, fight. roger that. Make sure everybody goes to their countermeasures and makes their program active. They're a bit of ways out, uh, but they're definitely coming our you way. Are running into us. Uh, one is not far at all, 34,000 feet. Uh, two's going to climb up to Angels 31 and remain in orbit. Let me overwatch for a bit. Okay, so are we taking the air contact? In the middle, air targets. Repeat. Okay, Roger. I'm gonna be looking for air targets. Do we have a bearing? I don't have a bearing, but from my position, which is right above the target area, uh, looks like. Bra 97 for 43, Angels 34. Yeah, I gotta lock this guy up. He's coming. He's coming. There's two of them. There's two of them. I gotta lock. Lock up, or I am being uh, pinged right now. Okay, uh, three's been locked up by 29 nails. Two's engaging. Alright, I really should drop my bags. I really should drop my bags, but I don't. I don't, uh. Alright, he's controlling. There's two of them! Cadges, you got me backed up, homie? 20 miles. This is not. Oh, this is not looking good. Yep, there he is. Cad is uh, arrow two going to be on gauging on the right target. You go for left. Fox three. Fox three is the right. On the right side. Shoot. One is defending. One is defending. This one. Is he shooting at me? Yeah, he is. Yeah, I've got one of those uh, 29s locked up. Who's defending? Ah, this is not gonna be good with all these bags on us. I'm right into the sun, I can't see my range to, to shoot. Uh, we got somebody splashed. Black smoke in the air, white smoke in the air. Hello? One, one is down, one is down. One is down. Alright, we still got one of these guys over here. I saw him over this one. Oh! Two is down, Mayday, Mayday. What? Dang it.
Yeah, Oof is right. So this is for that person uh, at the beginning of the stream. I was like, I want you to dogfight. Well, there it is. It's not dogfighting anymore in 2023. Now it's all beyond visual range. You never really get with a chance to dogfight. You shoot at each other before you get a chance to dogfight. And if you get hit, you die. Uh, I was using flares the whole time. Um, there it is, in the ocean. I guess we'll respawn and, and try again. Yeah. Alright, looks like we still got all three of those guys up, which is good. There's uh, Dre, there's Leo, and there is Droopy. Did he drop his tanks? He did. That's what I should have done. Alright, so we're gonna respawn as reinforcements. Respawn us on the thing. Hopefully it doesn't lag out. We'll find out. Do we have chocks on? Yeah, we do. Alright, let's try that again. Alright, let's get back in here. And I'm going completely strictly air to air this time. Because I need some cap. And whenever I fly cap, when reinforcements fly in, I fly my black livery. Oh yeah, let's get in there. All right, fuel tank, a few AIM-120. AIM-120C AMRAMs. Uh, I'll bring another Dang, two's on the boat. Dang. Uh, no, this is the, the regular Hornet, not the Super Hornet. Uh, I was going to go all air to air just to give you guys back up. I don't know if I need this many missiles. <laughs> but we'll bring them. <laughs> Mikey says, screw this. <laughs> Let's go watch this. Ah, uh, that's not his missile. Man, Dallas says, you believe in bringing a bomb to a gunfight? Yeah, we did the opposite this time. That was that, uh, that MiG-29's wingman that slotted in on me and took me out. It was, it was, it was F5, I don't know. See him. I'm officially guns now. I'm out of the missiles. You got hey, this. I'm with it though. I just Let's... got me air kill. <laughs> All right, I ain't blown that up today. You got right, your air kill? On the boat. Yeah, I got. I, I, yeah, I, 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 I shot down a, a freaking um, Big Twenty Nine, and then his wingman got me. All right, you back on the boat, Dre? Yes, sir. 
about to put the same armament that I had up. I'm blowing me something. Oh like, my yeah, god. Right. I won. You are merged. You are merged. Hey, the heat seekers are. Uh, 3 o'clock uh, low. The sidewinders are what? Fox 1s? Yeah, I think sidewinders are Fox 1s. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's gonna be dope. All right, we're getting rearmed up. More safe. I don't know. This time, I think I'm gonna change, take off the uh, laser guided bombs, and put on some extra uh, AM rams. Roger that. I'm gonna go up my same loadout. Guys, Bro, this is intense. Air, try to sneak something in the ground. This is intense. Look at the AI rolling on him, man. Oh, it's close. Wow, this is crazy. Oh, he's diving. How you doing, one? He's busy right now. <laughs> so he's getting the F5. in. He's getting it in right now. In the heat. You should go uh, spectate him. It's pretty intense. Man, he is giving him a run for his money. Oh. Oh, he's dog fighting for real. Blue, are you spectating one or is that you flying? One, you uh, there's two of them by the way. <laughs> one behind you, one in front of you. Oh yeah, he's dog fighting for real. <laughs> he is not playing. Yeah, I am spectating him. This is intense. Those, those guys are pretty, AI is pretty good. I think he's just gonna go away. Yeah, I think he's just gonna run. Oh, look how low he is. Oh my god, it looks I'm gonna sick. be spectating him. I was just reading the text. Oh! 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 So that's a good thing. Wait, I'm sorry. What happened? Did I, what did I miss? Can I just get slack? No, he did He he. Uh, I'm not sure what happened. I'm waiting for him to. For him to explain. It looked like he was. I turned on my autopilot. I got I flew in the water. I don't know why you turned autopilot on. All right. Uh, I was see. To hit, uh, I didn't want to move. CD skills. Um, so turn on that view we were looking at. It's F5. It's called the um, like dogfight camera or something like that, where it basically will keep both the planes in view. Uh, it's pretty cool. All right, two's ready. Actually, let me get my uh, my coordinates again. Which in situations like this, when you get shot down, you got to go back and re-engage and whatnot. This is where it's super helpful to have the application that I was talking about called the Way. Uh, that allows you to create uh, waypoints very, very quickly by just uh, basically almost clicking on them and then boom, you're done. All right, so I'm gonna put this on this screen. Well, I should have done two enemy fighter jets. Yeah, man. Good job. Way better job than I've done today, man. So big up. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, three starting up. Oh, man. Cassius is going with all air to air, bro. So am I. I've got a mix. I've got five AIM 120Cs, and then I got two, um, two day, two JDAMs, and then two uh, laser guided bombs. Yeah, I guess me and Cadiz will be you guys' escort this time around. Oh, I'm in a, I'm in a like a self escort role, bro. So, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking something out of the sky again. <laughs> Roger that, and I got nine X-rays times two, one 120C, and then uh, f uh, two. 
Uh, well, four JDAMs and four uh, GBU-12. So I'll be trying to get something under the ground while also being cognizant of what's in the air. Yeah, Roger, I say... Yeah, Roger, I say we just go ahead and put the plow down and, and take out these air things on the way in. Yeah, time. Roger that. Yeah, yep. Roger that. We'll just we'll just keep our eyes on them this time straight up before we even get orientated to drop anything and make sure they're far enough away to go ahead and do a drop and get back up and get eyes on them. Yeah, Roger that. Yep, that sounds like a plan. All right, got my waypoint selected. Go back in here into my aircraft. I and, think we were gonna take off first. Uh, then we're gonna take off after us. And we'll transfer those in there. I'm sorry, Cat. What'd you say? I said we need to take off first. Then. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, waypoints are in. All right, two's in roll of the cat one, and uh, we'll stand by there for the rest of the flight. All right, chalks off. J fire. Chief, remove the wheel chocks. I just realized what Copy. frequency was I on just now? Wheel chocks are now removed. One, I think, is what we're using. Enter. All right, let's go. I also forgot the flight control cam last time around, so I turned that back on. This might be our last flight for the night, guys, so we gotta make a count. Bro, that was intense. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, those F5s move really good um, if you get into a close fight with him. I was actually surprised how much he was missing. I thought it was going to be a really easy kill, um, but it was not at all. And Cadges is pretty good, man. I mean, he really is. So. I would not dogfight him myself. All right, wings unfolding. One more, Launch bar down. Better trim. I'm gonna turn down our RWR, not off, just down. Alright, dispense. Uh, I'm gonna head out to waypoint one. Yep, 104 for 45, or 045 for 104. And we got our data link on again. All right, data links are on. Tech count, I think it was 81. Yankee. Uh, for the tanker. And I'll turn it on. Again, we're completely loaded up with all air to air this time. No air to ground on this time. Hopefully, we can get us an air to air kill. That would be freaking sweet. Actually, I'm going to use the lights off. I keep forgetting I gotta pull up. There we go. Okay, uh, one is uh, taxi and the cat too. Oh, I'm sorry, four is taxi and the cat too. Okay, I've gotten the next one. Go ahead, one to go ahead. Lane Decker, what's up, my friend? How you doing? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I know, right? Cue the danger zone music. Two, we can salute. Let's go. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you. Uh, stand by.
Two salute. Flaps of gear up, we up. One up. Two switch combos, two six. Copy, two six three. Oh, yeah, everybody's gonna die now. Everybody's gonna die. Rampage time. Now I'm getting shitty. All aboard! Ham Bone Player, thank you for the follow up to the Blue Arrow family, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Yep, I am racked up for cap up. Or racked up for cap up. Cap up. <laughs> you can take uh, point one. How close are you ready to being ready? Three. Three on comms. Oh! <laughs> that was too close. Alright, two is uh, four and up on one. I think uh, the three might be on the boat com. I'm glad I wore my shades today. Hey, firm. One of Glenn, uh, Angel 21. Copy. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and switch air to air now. My speed is 380. Copy, 380. Yep, that was a good morning aviators moment. <laughs> so true. <laughs> So true. That's hilarious. What up, Steve? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Happy Friday to you. All right. Uh, Arrow of Flight 1 and 2 inbound to the AO to establish air superiority. Full air to air. Copy that. Uh all right, you having fun up there, one? <laughs> one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the main mission is air to ground targets. Oh my god, what are you doing, bro? What do you call that? And uh, three, two is airborne. That's oh. your five o'clock slot in with you. Visual. Uh oh. Where'd he go? <laughs> uh, I lost him. Okay, we do have contacts off the nose, about 100 miles. Oh, he's back there. Here comes the rollout. All right, let's head to waypoint one, which we are 93 miles out, and let's go start searching a bit farther out. ATC to 330. I have this up this time around. Four. And I'm going to bring my essay page up on the bottom here. Uh, one, you got me. Yes, I'm behind. Oh, you're behind me? Alright, cool. 
I'm gonna go on autopilot here. Uh, climbing to Angels three one or two one. Five five two. Yeah, that's why I wasn't seeing anything because of that. Plus, my RWR is not on. There we go. All right, now I see things. There we go. Eighty miles out. Oh yeah, they're still there. They're still there. So I think too, you know, like six and a minute, five minutes in India. Alright, leveling off Angels 2-3. Focus, 1-1. One, one. Uzi, 1-1. One, right one. Request Bogey Dope. You know, Bogey Dope would be a bad idea, bad idea right now. That would help me out if we get AWACS on our side. Let's get AWACS. What's my button for that? Okay, we're coming to the right slightly. This my button. Two, four. Uh, is it this one? Oh. oh. is it this button? I always forget my radio button. Oh, it's that one. Got it. A wax. Uh, focus one one. Request picture. Focus one 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 one. Request picture. Oh yeah, they out there, man. All right, one. Looks like we have some flies to swat. Right there. And four has got the target heading zero four seven for eighty six. I'll copy three. I got you. I'm just uh, keeping these guys on the nose, I'm trying to figure out uh, where they're at. Okay, Roger that. We do have two coming towards us hot, so. Okay, rounds it out. Let me get my essay page up. I got the EW up. Let me get the essay up. Two to one, going battle spread to your right. Roger. Why angels are we going to? It looks to be at 23,000. All right, target is 62 miles out. And the other one next to 23,000. Who's turning hot? Range six zero. All right, guys. Ah, chat. I just want you guys to know that I love you, and I appreciate you. And no matter what happens next, thanks for watching. Going to war. Two climbing uh, to angels, like to the angels, literally. I'm just gonna go up as high as I can. We're getting a little slow here, three. Godspeed, Mikey, Godspeed. Alright, how are we doing on that fuel tank? Is it empty? If it is, we're dropping it. Okay, we'll level here. Yep, it's empty. We're dropping Four. it. Center tank, jettison. It's gone. Well, two, for two fuel jettison. Oh, it's about to get me free. <laughs> well, like one and two, have fun over there. All right, one, your primary, on you. Roger. There is a second one, but he's hiding. Yeah, we have an enemy. We have an enemy behind the enemy, so don't you get out. Copy. Right, we have a lock. We're at twenty-nine thousand. Range three one. Twenty-four thousand enemies. Twenty-four thousand. 
we are going to see, we're going to hear at any second. Uh, he's actually turning to the right. Alright, fingers on the trigger, guys. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna aim for this guy. Enemy turning cold. Two launching on second ship. Alright, and. Uh. Fox 3. Why is my button not working? Uh oh. <laughs> Why is it not shooting? Actually shooting. Alright. Two is going cold, weapon jam. I just, I just. I don't know I'm trying to find. Is it armed? Fox 3. Jammers on. Why aren't we locking things? Let's try to go back to the. Jam got him scheme. locked up. Oh. Enemy. Lock down. Lock down. Lock down. Lock down. Turn his radar off. Yeah, I lost a lot. Same here. He's turning his radar. Repeat that for two. Copy, is that the yellow one? Where'd they go? 3 4 request combat spread. Roger. I, I think I fixed it. Uh, maybe. I think that's. One is coming to. Box 2, I got one away at him, he's uh, evasive. Okay, there they are. He's running from the missile. Nine point seven. I'm gonna get shot. I'm gonna get shot. Try mess with this stuff. <laughs> Second missile way on it. I know I'm gonna get shot. Try mess with this stuff. Four. Splash one. Splash one. He's down. Good kill. Good kill. Good kill. Good kill. Twenty nines over there. I want you lock on anything. Okay, I'm gonna resume, head it back to target. Oh, being locked. Yeah, I was gonna say we got more target. Fox three on mission tonight. Alright, they're over there. What is this right next to me? Come on, I'm trying to get in the fight. I, I see the missile. Visual. There it is. There he is. Got him. Two visual. Come on. Yep, splash. Good Shh. kill. Right, he's dead. Good job. Get the next one. Gotta find out what my missiles are not working. Turn off, yep, good idea. Turn off and on the switch. That always works. Off, on, air to ground, air to air, arm. Back to AMRAMs. That guy is dead. For the rest of them. What am I missing here, guys? I got something off my right. 
K4, how are you making out? Four is good, four is good. Uh, yep, evaded, this guy is bad. Not being painted That's a baddie. Gonna go back to the target heading. That is a baddie, he's coming right for me. Make some progress on getting I can't lock him up. Be on the hair. Okay, right. Who's having weapon issues? Uh, going cold again. I'm not able to lock anyone either, though, on the uh... air covered here. I'm going to go ahead and start. Uh, right? Screw us with aim nine. I just want to get that close. Target back to one. Ground. Uzi, one, one. Request bogey dope. 32 out. Angels, two seven. Two is engaging. AH-1, enemy helicopter. Enemy helicopter. Hey, is it, uh... Wait, how do I just reset this? The 140 is the bottom. Oh, this one right here. Threes are pointing 9.7 on the fuel. Four, 9.5. Two, 9.3. Okay, I do have target area 25. Uh, I'm on the heading of uh, 038, now moving to 040, and I'll be letting you guys know uh, when I get closer to the target, I am going to drop down in the cloud layer. Okay, Roger, we're 34 out. 23 out, I'm going to start a descent now, get on the cloud layer now. Maybe, you know what it could be? Roger, start and descent. No, because it worked last flight. It worked last flight. Uh, elevation of that contact is, it says one. Actually, two of them right on top of each other. I wonder if it's a tanker. Be advised, I do see the target area roughly. There is red smoke down there. Be advised, there is red smoke down there. Huh, how do I Roger, fix this? Roger. Alright, so beyond visual range, I got my AC, six of them. Let's see if we can lock a friendly. Four is now uh, heading of a 038, Angels 12. Ooh, what does that do? <laughs> what did I just do? I don't know what that button does. Two enemy hit up the zone. Repeat. Repeat that. Two enemy hit up the zone. Oh, is that what I'm seeing? Enemy helicopter? I wonder if it's because I clicked on RWS. Yep. Yeah. Helicopter's on. Oh. Man, I don't know what's going on with this thing. I'm chasing those four enemy planes now. Copy. Yeah, I'm your weapons. What's happening? I feel bad because I'm supposed to be his backup and I'm not getting any backup. Okay, three to four. We're going to uh, set up a uh, 10,000 foot orbit here about 15 miles out from the AO. Copy that. I'm at uh, Angels 12, right orbit, and we are approximately 9.9 .9 out of the AO as well. Alright, we're 34 Roger. miles away from the AO. Dude, what is the problem with your weapons? Uh, I am unable to lock. Oh, I think I know why. Oh, that's got to be it. My freaking jettison was selected. That's got to be it. All right, let's see. All right, we're heading back north now. We can unlock them for like around 40 miles, basically. Uh, attack radar. All right, I'm just going to lock something random, like this guy. I think it's working now. 
Yeah, because it started scanning that area. Yep, it's working. Yeah, I fixed it. The issue was I had my jettison selected still, so. <laughs> Rookie mistake. All right, let's get back in this thing. Uh, our fuel is 8.8, 8,800 pounds. Uh, one is, what is your location? Where are you in relation to the target area? I am maybe from the target area, like five miles, or just 20 miles, 20 miles from the target area. North? Yep, north. Cop copy, I think I see you. Alright, let's get back in this thing. Let's shoot something. Now you're good, don't waste them. Okay, so I am I am interested in the seven. Copy. So I'm scanning at what's that thirty-three twenty-five. I don't see them anymore. Ah, right, there they are. All right, Ebony Seraphim, we'll catch you next time. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for the help. Hopefully, we can shoot something down and go back home safely so we can end this thing on a good note, but we'll see. Uh, how long do I have in eight? We have F-14 engaging all right, so what the... Copy. Um, but yeah, I've been, I've been flying the F-18 for a while, off and on, and, um, I really haven't spent a lot of time doing air-to-air. -air. I know a little bit, but I'm not great at it. Alright, there's our two friendlies, I believe, down there. Might be a helicopter, actually, I'm not sure. Right, so we got something coming right at us. Two enemy helicopters near the target area. This guy's at 18,000. We're at 27. Uh, this is what I normally fly, the F-18. I normally fly the F-18. Okay, uh, oh, wow. Three be advised, I do have some targets. Uh, I'm going to come back around and roll in and get some off right now. 18,000. And I'll release some smoke on the ground 22. so that you have a good idea where they're at. Yeah, I've got uh, visual on red smoke. I'm just trying to get the laser code put in and, and find it visually for my LGB. And for me, we have enemy a 64 Apaches coming in to the target Oh, I think one of them died. Or turn his radar off. One of those. Let's switch our radio here. Stand by. I don't receive. Uh, two to one, do you have uh, those three contacts at our 12 o'clock? Yes. Uh, I had three, now I only see one. Oh, no, they popped back up. No, they now have three. Are you going for the first one? Uh, you can go for the first one, I'll try to use the back one. Uh, friendly F-16 on my uh, right wing, F -F FYI. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alright, let's lock this cat up. Oh, we have four in the We have four in the We have four enemies. Yes, I have eyes on the four enemies. 30 miles. Or less. Yeah, 20. Okay, it's done. Pickle times one. Not really locking him like I want it to. Or is it locked? I'm not sure. And pickle times two. 
Yeah, there he is, he's blocking me. Folks, be on that fire. Three's running in. I want it lock. I'm having so much trouble with this right now. He's really close. <laughs> he is he can shoot me right now. I'm not sure why he's not. Oh, he's evading. Somebody's shooting at him. My radar is scanning above him. How do I change it? <laughs> oh you're right, because he's below twenty six thousand. How do I lower it? Nope, not that one. Not that one. Got man painted by a 23 off the nose. Wow, he's down, he's on the deck. Okay, copy that. It shows yeah, you how much I fight. Nine. I do air to air. You, <laughs> you guys picked the wrong guy. <laughs> you picked the wrong guy. I both, see him, but I ain't do nothing about it. Target, but no joy. I'm gonna retarget him again. How do I change my elevation? Okay, I did get a Shoka damage at 34%, though. We did get a good uh, oh, damage on the Shoka at 34%. No. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Okay, Roger, we're getting ready to drop That's on this uh, Lays target. It's not an MFD. There's a key Copy for that. it. Oh, great! I don't have that mapped. Yeah, we just sat here and watched missiles come up at us. Yeah, we're down. Two going cold. Okay, copy that. Of course, it's a freaking key bind. Our bomb seems to be tracking good. Yeah, we got shot down, bro. Look Wait, at our plane. No. Yeah, no worries, man. Yeah, I, I got one shook of damage. Though. Yeah, one one shook of damage, baby. Did you get shot by like a something from the ground? Yeah, it was man pads and all sorts of shit oh, around okay. there. But we've got uh that whole group. We damaged that whole group there. So yeah, Roger that. I am good, good job. Uh, you responding? I don't know. We're already at three hours. It's three o'clock, and I still gotta do the double header later. So I may uh. I may cut it off here. Yeah, Roger that. If I get shot down, I'll do the same. I'm seven point out on the field. Oh wait, I, I do have I a map. Neutralize a couple more of these ground targets here. I do have a map. I have a map. Yeah, I'm gonna try to see if I can get and uh, spectate. Okay. You. Thank you. Right, uh, turning back. Uh, who is this? It's who's got uh, Who's got four laser guided and two J dams left? Me, me. Okay, Roger. All right, we're spectating you right now, brother. Copy that. I am really lucky that I have not died uh, through all of this trying to figure yeah, so out stuff. Yeah, so if you see those red smokes, those red smokes are, are laze marks. All right, where is the code is 1686. Guys, uh, Man, they're far. All right, cash location. Has you up? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, somebody just buzzed me. Okay, we're about to roll back in on another target is here. Is that you that just boomed me? Nope. Oh, okay. I heard the boom as well. Alright, I'm north of the target, 27 miles, uh, chasing. 025. Angels 24. Uh, be advised there is enemy SAMs in the area. I am from uh, from target area 45 miles. Uh, north. Zero two zero. Copy. Yep, I see you, my radar. Angels with the fire. Copy. All right, so he's uh heading zero two zero from the target, which is behind us. That number right there is the target. So 32 miles out from there, we are 80 miles from this group of guys. Let's see if I can get. This. Let's see if I can figure it out while we're far away, right? So we don't have to wait till it's time to launch. Right off your left so is where I got shot down. That's so be wary. Feet. Nice. 
They have missiles, some sort of missiles set up on the front coastal part of the town. Two two and you're two flying two directly two. over them right now. Copy that. Go ahead. What's your altitude? I was lower. Uh, 7.2. Altitude is uh, Angel 16. You say 4.1? Okay, Roger. Yeah, I was at like yep. 9. Oh, wow. Oh, and it looked like I destroyed that thing I'm right below you. It's smoking and burning pretty good. Yeah, we got, got one coming down, and we're going to turn back around and get the feather target here. Oh, all right. You you were in F-16? Yeah, I saw. I was like, he, it must have been F-16 that took him out, because I didn't take him out. <laughs> Thanks for having my check back, because I think one. if you weren't there, I would have hey, got shot one, down on, uh, trying to figure this stuff out for sure. 23 Shilka has been destroyed. Uh, we're going to come back around and get another ground target. So you guys keep in the air. If you're already good, it's giving me a chance to get some of these uh, targets neutralized. Copy. Yeah, we, we pushed them back north. Uh, the target area should be clear at least for the next 10, 15 minutes. Tango Mike, running back in. Nice, Rob. Shoot, this little Copy. area right here would be perfect for the A-10 if only we had air cover to deal with the air threats yeah roger and if we had like you know like cages and uh blue we're doing right now we could still get in there man we would just stagger our departure let them clean the area up enough for us to get in there but yeah i agree nice. we have thirty-four thousand. i'm scanning 59 to 24 right that's what that means but i'm still not locking them i'm climbing to them same angels 30 for 33. Some speed too. We want some speed behind these missiles when we shoot them. Right, they're 40 miles out now. Four pickle. Focus there on the right. right. I'm too far. Is that what it is? I can't lock it. It's too far. I hope so, because... Oh, here it is! I got a lock! People, I got a lock! Alright, we're shooting this missile. This missile's coming off. Uh, repeat that one. I'll go to hit one guy. Copy. I got lock on the right, bandit. Yeah, again. Oh, he freaking undid it. I bet it's down. Uh oh. Copy, I'm hot on the other guy. He's at 21,000 now. Okay, Shaq 1, nice Shaq 1, we watched that one going in. BMP 2 destroyed. I hey, appreciate you. I told you I was destined to get me some targets today, boy. Oh, Come I know. On. I already know, bro. Let's it was going to be guy. a topic of conversation after the there stream. I'm already 19 here. miles, I'm sending it. Roger that, but uh, we good now. I think I'm uh, down to the laser is. guided now. Now, okay, how do so, I get the code on them? I don't know what Fox that is, but it's okay, off. Okay, so if you go <laughs> to, uh, it's hard to tell you. All right, so pull up your, select your, uh, your laser guided on your storage page. When are you up? When are you up? And then yeah, I think bottom I'm left, I'm you should see it say code or something. Marshall. One, zero, Press six. that and then type Monkey in 1686. Zero, zero, eight, zero. And then turn right towards the target area. Select uh, instant fuse and man release. Alright, he's evading. Oh, he's no, evading. He's evading. And just fly towards the Splash, target. Splash, baby! Oh, wait. Is what's being uh oh. And as you get close, we're fans. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, that was a Go friendly kill. I'm sorry. I just, I just shot Cadges down. And I was so excited. <laughs> the man got excited and blew him out the sky. <laughs> oh. happens. And then I got immediately kicked out of my jet. <laughs> he said you got kicked out of your jet? Yeah. <laughs> now I'm yeah. over here butt naked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need some no air to air practice for sure. <laughs> no diaper. Oh man! Well, guys, thank yeah, you, I chat. Another, I got another target selected, Leo. I think I'm just gonna uh, thank you, chat, use for the help. Use my flare pod to target him and get on that one. Oh man, what? What? I don't day. need those thinking cold. Oh. <sighs>
six inches. Well, do you have your bomb set up to laze for yourself then? Are you still in the air, Rod? Or no? Remember, you I got laser guided bombs. You got to maintain the laser if you're going to laze it yourself. Oh, if you right. Use, yeah, if you use the JTAX laser that's already there, 1686. You just fly by and drop it just like a I guess I'm the opposite roast of potatoes. Like you only know air to air. I only know the air to ground. Okay, got really. you. Well, I did so, type in that code, 1686. Um, the tricky okay, thing, too, is that next the week, and then, uh, when the we come back and do this again, we'll be flying an A-10. Correct. So what yeah, I learned today fly, fly is basically smoke, useless for the next and, couple of weeks because we'll be flying an A-10. So, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll still try to practice some air to air if I get time to play some DCS. And uh, between now Trying and then, let's go um, spectate Viper here in F-16 before we head out. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, whew, thank you, all of you who stuck around, or whether you stopped in, whichever. Yeah, it was so much. It was fun. It was fun. I don't want to count that kill, because he you know, didn't really have a chance. <laughs> um, but, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you, Jay. Yeah, we'll try to get him in. Yeah, honestly, uh, if you guys are free, like I said, around this time next Friday. Um, if, uh, if you guys want to join us next week, um, plan on doing this again. Same group of guys next Friday uh, on DCS World. I'm not sure what server we'll be on or what map. Uh, we might do through the Inferno again. We might do Hog it. Uh, we probably won't be. Hey, he's waving at us. What up, man? Thank you so much for flying along. Thank you for the backup. Came in clutch too, man, because I would have got shot down if it wasn't for you and F-16. I like how the F-16 always looks like it's smiling at you. Uh, but anyways, we'll be in A-10 next week. So I, that means I have to learn A-10. I haven't flown that in a while, so I'm going to learn how to fight A-10 again. That's going to be fun. Um, but we're definitely going to need some air support. As you can see in today's um, kind of fight where we were going in for an air-to-ground fight and found out there's a bunch of air-to-air -air targets, which always happens to me. And so um, what we needed was some people, like we did the second flight, that fly out there air-to-air -air only and cover us, push back the air-to-air -air threats, so that way you can do the air-to-ground thing. Uh, while wow, you know all that, so that's what we needed today, hey, and we got it a little shack. late, but we got Good it. Shack, so baby. next week we need the same thing. We're in the A10s, so no matter what server we're on, we're gonna definitely need some help and some um some uh, jets that can do some air to air. So that's if you are good at air to air and whatever aircraft we fly, definitely come through and join us. That'd be cool. But thank you guys so much again. I don't know. I think Leo stopped his stream. I believe he's streaming again later today, so he's stopping. But uh, I think Dre is still streaming. So again, X Mace Mark D R E in chat to go straight over to his point of view. I think he's still doing some ground pounding. Um, I do have a Blue Arrow Force okay, Discord. Right, um, we're like kind of trying to revive it. Uh, me and Cadiz are in it and a part of it. So if you want to join us on there, I know there's a few guys on there who do play DCS yeah, and whatnot. Uh, and then you, all, you could also join my normal Discord by typing in S Mark that Discord. That Discord has everything on it for train type sim, for flight sim, and, and um, uh, DCS, racing, anything that I'm into in is like basically in that up. server. So that's and the best one for you to join code. to get in contact with me or to kind of become part of the community. Blue, but uh, Blue, Blue, Blue Air Force the one, which is the one that's in the description of the YouTube video, is the one that um, that's uh, that uh, that's. Um, you can join if you want to do some DCS. But anyways, guys, thank you so much, Dylan, Rod. Thank you guys so much. And uh, until next time, guys, have an amazing weekend. Catch you guys next week. Remember, you have three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. He's going supersonic. Let's get a flyby. Peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time. Next video. Let's end this thing with a supersonic F-16 flyby. Okay, I got Brought to you by Viper. I got another red smoke. Two of them. Yeah, turn, let's turn it all the way up. Sound's going all the way up. Gotta hurry before he goes. I don't know if those codes are the same, but I'll release on the first one and then turn to the second one and release on that one and see what happens. No diggity, no doubt. Cover your ears. Okay, we're just in this cloud now. I'm picking up. <laughs>
This is DCS at 100% value. Okay. 